Welcome to Fuzz Ed's Pantry. Today, in Fuzz Ed's Pantry, we're going to be making a cinnamon tea loaf. Apparently, cinnamon has properties that's good for people with Parkinson's. So how often do you actually bake? Um, at least once or twice a week. Um, I love baking. I think it's uh, therapeutic good it keeps you it keeps you active it's one of them simple little things that that you can do that uh, gives you a bit of sense of worth an easier tin would be a sandwich tin a round tin if your dexterity is not that good as lining too many sides is a bit awkward to so just use the base as a template on your grease proof paper Right, ingredients. We're not using butter. Butter takes too long to cream together with the sugar. We're going to use sunflower oil, two eggs, light brown muscovado sugar, self-raising flour, tea-soaked raisins. Look at them. They're nice and plump. Mmm, yummy. Cinnamon, flaked almonds, and baking powder. We'll put that in. Light brown muscovado sugar, 100 grams of sugar or so to every two eggs you add. Remember fuzz egg followers, it's good to tidy as you go. There you go. Start on a low setting. Get all them ingredients mixed up together. And that's about 100 grams. Half a teaspoon of baking powder and a good tablespoon full of cinnamon. It gives it that nice nutty chocolatey colour. For people with Parkinson's, it's, it's really important to try and just keep your mind and body active a little. Just something simple. Just doing little jobs around the house to keep yourself active. Potter in the garden, do some baking, do some cooking. Knocks the air out of it. Don't mess about when you're putting it in the oven. In the oven, door shut, out. That's in there for, I reckon, 50 minutes. So that'll be out at four o'clock. Right, the unveiling of the cake at Fuzz Ed's Pantry. Wow. Phil, Phil, how does that feel for that to come out like that? Yeah. Brilliant. F a great success at Fuzzhead's Pantry. Mm -hmm.